Hello Rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our Pierre Marquette Passenger Train, and we're going to be building the Standard Coach Car. So let's get right into it here. As usual, the first step is going to be to take a dark oak stair to be the coupler, and we'll get it attached up here. Underneath that, we put a dark oak fence gate to be an air hose. Then, we'll put a dark oak fence on either side to be the connected cables. Switch to a polished black stone block, put it in front of the coupler, and turn that into a 3x3. Three three. Then, we're going to run dark oak fence gates up the bottom middle to be the airline. On the next block down on the rails, get a netherite on each rail with an end rod for the axle. Then we're going to put four rows of three polished black stone. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take out deep slate tile stairs upside down facing this end here and upside down facing this end on this side. In the middle, we'll put deep slate tile slabs on the bottom hip boxes. Then we'll come on top with a polished black stone block and we'll fill in this top middle three down to the end of this truck here. Then on the outside edge, we'll put a hopper in front of each wheel. And then a row of deep slate tile slabs on top going from wheel to wheel. We do the same thing over here, so a hopper in front of the wheels and then a row of deep slate tile slabs going from wheel to wheel. Next, come on top and we're gonna fill in this third layer, three wide, with polished black stone block going down to the end of this. Then one block in from the end, we're gonna put a polished andesite slab and an upside down polished andesite stair above it. Same thing over on this side. Then a column of two stone brick blocks and then one on the other side of the stairs. Same thing over here, two stone brick blocks, one on the other side of the stairs. Then we're gonna put an upside down stone brick stair facing this way on each side. Then we're gonna take a stone brick slab and put it under this block. The same thing on the other side, on bottom under this block here. Then we're gonna take out a stone block we're going to put one in each corner, skip a block, and two, and then we're going to bring that all the way forward here, down to the end of this. Then we're going to take blue concrete, put it on each side of the doorway here, extend it out another two blocks, and then come from the other end and do three blocks, and put a black stained glass pane in the middle. Copy that pattern over here. Then we're going to come off the end of this blue concrete layer and we'll use our window spacing to measure out the car here. So in front of this blue concrete we're going to put three black stained glass panes. Then one blue concrete, three black stained glass panes, another blue concrete, another three black stained glass panes, blue concrete, one glass pane, blue concrete, one glass pane, blue concrete, three glass panes, blue concrete, three glass panes, blue concrete, three more glass panes. So there should be three windows on each end of the car that are three blocks long and two in the middle that are one block long. Then we're going to come back up here with a polished black stone block and we're going to fill in this second layer up and this third layer up three blocks wide down to the end of the window strip we just made.
Then we're going to do our next truck. So get out a block of netherite and come down here one block in front of this here and get a netherite down on the rail with an end rod for an axle and another netherite on the other side. Then we're going to put four rows of three polished black stone blocks across the tracks. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take deep slate tile stairs upside down facing this end here and upside down facing this end here. In the gaps between them we'll put a deep slate tile slab on the bottom hip box. Same thing over here. Then we put a hopper on the sides in front of each wheel. Same thing over here. Then switch to a polished black stone block and we'll fill in this middle three above this truck down to the end of it. The same thing on the next layer up here. And then we'll take a deep slate tile slab on the top of the truck here on the outside and run it from wheel to wheel. Same thing over here. A row of slabs going from wheel to wheel. Then we'll come on this end back to polished blackstone and we're going to extend it out another three blocks on both layers. Now we'll take out a dark oak stair and get it stacked up to that second block for the coupler on this side. Delete the one you use for placement. Come underneath it with a dark oak fence gate and run dark oak fence gates right up the middle till it reaches the wheels. Then we'll come around here, put a dark oak fence on either side of the coupler. Then on this corner block here, we're going to open a dark oak fence gate into the block. Same thing over on this side here. Then on this top corner, we're going to put three stone brick blocks and then a stone brick stair facing this way upside down. Same thing over here, so three blocks and a stair upside down facing this way. Then on the side on this upper edge, we're going to put a row of stone brick slabs and we're going to go end to end on both sides of the car. After that, we'll come back up here with a regular stone block and we'll fill in this first layer above the slabs end to end on both sides of the car. Come on top and put three blue concrete in front of the stained glass, then one stained glass pane and then blue concrete down to the end of the car. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to copy our blue concrete pattern directly across so it's exactly the same on both sides of the car. Then we'll go ahead and fill all the gaps with a black stained glass pane here. So we have the same amount of windows on both sides. Now we're going to come through both sides and copy our blue concrete pattern up another layer. Because the windows are going to end up being two blocks tall here. So just keep copying all this blue concrete from right below it. When we get over to this end here, we're going to cover the top of these door frames on the ends of the car. And then of course we'll go back through on both sides and bring all the stained glass up another layer so the windows are two blocks tall. Then, we're going to come up in front of this first window here, knock out the bottom blue block and replace it with gold. Same thing over here, because there's a little logo. Then we're going to put a door on the side here, right above those stairs. Same thing over here. Then we'll put one in the middle of the end of the car, skip three blocks and another one in the middle just like that. Then we'll come down to this other end. 
we'll put one in the middle down here. Then we're going to take out stone blocks, go ahead and surround the door, and then one more layer above it. Same thing over here. We'll go ahead and surround this door on this end, and then one more layer above it. Then we'll also surround this door on the inside here with stone and one more layer above it. Now we're going to switch to yellow concrete on this top outside edge and we're going to do both sides of the car end to end in a full stripe of yellow concrete. Then we're going to come down here on the bottom of the car on this left side, skip two blocks in front of the truck, and then across this bottom middle, we're going to make a three by six of polished blackstone slabs coming down underneath it here. Then on the side above it here, we're going to put three grindstones, skip a block, and two. And we'll go do that on the other side. So line up with where these slabs are. Three grindstones, skip a block, and two. Then we'll come back up underneath here. We'll skip two blocks in front of that. And we'll put a row of slabs coming across the bottom. That's five blocks long. So fill in the whole bottom with polished blackstone slabs. And we're also going to extend it out one block to the side here. And then we'll put a row of polished blackstone blocks above the slabs. Then on the right hand tube, we'll put two stone buttons. Then we'll do this on the other side. So extend this row of slabs out by one block. Put polished black stone blocks above it and two stone buttons on the left hand side. Then we're going to go ahead and skip two blocks in front of that one and we'll put a row of slabs, two of them coming across the side here and sticking out. We'll delete these two slabs above it and we'll put in four polished deep slate walls. Come back to this side. Extend these two slabs out, delete these ones above it, and four deep slate polished walls. Next, we're going to skip two blocks forward again, and another two rows of slabs coming across the bottom, sticking out to the side. Delete these two above it, and we're going to put in four chiseled deep slate blocks. Come around to the other side, under here. Two slabs sticking out, delete the ones above it, and four chiseled deep slate. Now all our bottom detailing is completed here. Now we're going to come on down in the interior of the car here, down to the end that doesn't have the second door. We're going to put two stone blocks here, skip a block and two here, and then we'll raise that up to the top on both sides. This will be the little restroom. We'll put an end portal inside of there for a toilet and then a door and then fill in above the door here. Then we'll come out here and do all of our seats. So we're going to take a warp stair, skip a block in front of that bathroom, one on each side. Then we'll skip a block, turn around, two facing this way. Then facing this way, skip a block, two facing this way. And we're going to keep repeating that pattern coming all the way up the car. Because a lot of these older passenger trains had the seats facing each other. We're just going to keep doing that. It's kind of tedious. Almost there. get down here, we're going to stop right there. Then we'll come back down by this bathroom, 
We'll put a composter right there and hit it with some leaves so it looks like a trash can. We'll come around on the other side of the bathroom and stack some bookcases to look like shopping. Then we'll go work down on the other side of the car here. And we're going to take out a lectern. We'll put a lectern on each side of the door over here. So here and here. Then we'll come in this little porch area here. On this side we'll stack some scaffolding for shelves. And then we'll close the trapdoor over here for the brake wheel. Then we're going to fill in this top middle three of the car with blue concrete and we're going to bring that all the way down to the other end of the car. Then we're going to come in this end that has the bathroom here. We're going to take a spruce wood slab and we'll put one on each side and hang a lantern in the middle. Then we'll bring slabs up this little hallway and then we'll have to come in this bathroom and put a lantern in there to light it. And that block's in the way so I'm just going to knock it out real quick. Hang a lantern in there and replace that block. Then in front of this here on top, we're going to take spruce wood stairs and we'll put them upside down on the ceiling coming across. Wrap around the corner and we're going to take that all the way around the ceiling of the car. Then in the middle of the end here, we'll hang a lantern and we'll come all the way down to the other end of the car and we'll hang a lantern on that end. Then we're going to put five slabs coming forward and another lantern. Come down to the other side, do the same thing. Five slabs coming forward and another lantern. Then another five slabs and another lantern. Here, do the same thing. Another five slabs and another lantern. Then I'm going to put equal amounts of slabs on both sides until I reach the midpoint. And it looks like here the midpoint is an even number, so we'll put two lanterns in the middle. Now the interior is all lit up. Then we'll come back outside and on both sides of the top here we're going to put a full row of outward facing dark prismarine stairs. Same thing on the other side. Then we'll come down on this side here on this end, two blocks in from the end and we'll put two cobbled deep slate slabs, then three iron trap doors in front of it like that, come down to this end, skip a block in the middle, three iron trap doors, then on the side, lined up with this first single blue concrete pole, an iron trap door on each side, and same thing on the first single blue concrete pole on this side. Now we'll come down and work on the end of the car here. Put a crimson button on both top corners, come down under the door and put an iron trap door for the walkway and surround the door with a polished black stone wall. Then we have to work on the end down here. So come in this gap, get an iron trap door down there in front of that door, surround the door with a polished black stone wall. and then a crimson button on each of the top corners. And there we have it folks. We've completed the CNO Pierre Marquette coach car. In order for your train to be accurate, you're gonna wanna copy in or build two or three of these at least. And stay tuned for more because over the course of this week, we still have to do the dining car, sleeper cars, and the rear end observation car to complete this train. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.